What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to yet another episode of FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Predictions. It has been a while since I actually uploaded the last episode, I do apologise for that, it's just but I don't really want to be recording or, you know, uploading during the World Cup because obviously I was trying to watch all of it. And now that the World Cup is over and Germany are victorious, of course I will start to upload a lot more and uh, a lot more different content as well, so I'll uh, probably come out with like an update video sometime soon of what you guys want to see and uh, obviously I still will keep doing these FIFA 15 potential cards ratings but anyway let's get straight into this video if you guys are looking to buy some coins do be sure to check the link in the description for ut coins for you selling for seven uh, no for four pound on the xbox and five pound on the playstation very very cheap coins use the code jg9 for, uh, to get an additional five percent off so now let's get straight into this video and let's go talk about the five players that this guy's asked me to cover Moving on to the first player guys, we are going to talk about Muller and he looks like an absolutely awesome card with lots of cool upgrades and uh, most deserved upgrades in my opinion. He played 33 games for Bayern Munich this season, scored 18 goals and 11 assists, you know, currently swapping between right mid and that centre forward role. He's a very, very strange and versatile character. But, you know, as long as he's scoring the goals for Bayern Munich, of course, it doesn't matter. But I think his card will be a right mid a game because that is where he's played most of his games. However, he does, you know, like tend to play striker and centre forward. So it is a really strange one. But I'm going to keep him at the right mid for now. I'm going to give him a plus two pace increase, plus four shooting, plus two passing, plus three dribbling, plus two defending and plus five heading. Looks like a very, very awesome card. Um, on FIFA 15 if it is something similar to that and we're going to keep his weak foot at 4 and 3 stars uh, and skill moves at 3. Moving on to the next player guys we are going to talk about Tony Cruz now he has actually recently transferred well, it's not official yet, but he says in an interview uh, yesterday after winning the World Cup, he was interviewed and he said, you know, it would be a dream, of course, to win the World Cup and then, of course, move to Real Madrid. And he said both of those dreams have now, you know, been completed. So he's basically saying that he wants to go to Real Madrid and he's already moving to Real Madrid. It's basically off his words, but technically he is still a Bayern player for the moment. But, you know, however, however long that lasts, we'll have to see. Um, but he played 35 games this season, scored three goals and got six assists. So I'm going to keep him at Real Madrid card just because of what he said um, and I'm assuming that's basically you know the team is moving to but I'm going to give him an 85 rated centre mid I'm going to give him plus four pace plus two shooting plus three passing plus one dribbling plus four defending and heading keeping his weak foot at five star and three star skirmers looks like an absolutely incredible card and sort of looks like the next Kadira in my opinion. On to the next player, guys. We are going to talk about Quadrado. Now, I actually think he is going to receive an absolutely huge upgrade. And I'm not really too sure if he's going to be staying put at Fiorentina at the moment. I think he will maybe move on to either Manchester United or Barcelona. That is the two linked sides, you know, the, the biggest sides at the moment that are linked with him. And uh, I would currently love to have, absolutely have him. I think he is a great replacement for Valencia, in my opinion, because he can play on the right, he can play on the left. And, you know, obviously last season they played on the right. This season he has been more playing on the left side. So I do think he'll receive a left wing card, um, but let's get straight into his stats. He played 38 games this season, scored 13 goals, and got 8 assists. Of course, playing on that left wing now, uh, predominantly most on the left wing, can play anywhere. He's played right back, he's played uh, you know, centre mid, uh, central attacking... Uh, right wing, left wing. He is so versatile. He's absolutely, you know, he's an absolutely incredible player, and really came out of his shell during the World Cup. But let's go straight into his stats. I'm going to give it 84 rated left wing card, plus two pace, plus 11 shooting. I think you know he, he deserves a huge shooting increase. Really has you know star potential. Um, plus seven passing, plus three dribbling, plus two defending and heading. Uh, no, plus three heading. Sorry, three star weak foot, keeping that the same, and bumping him up to five star skirmers. A lot of people on the foot head section were saying how skillful this guy actually was and you know watching him during the world cup i sort of have to agree so he would be an absolutely incredible card if it looked like something on the right with five star skill moves Moving on to the next player, guys, we are going to talk about Thibaut Courtois. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a really, really cool name. Um, but I actually think he will get a 85 rated card, in my opinion. He played 49 games this season for Atletico Madrid, of course, on loan from Chelsea. I think he's actually been on loan at Atletico Madrid for two seasons now. I think this was his second, but he's actually staying put at Chelsea now. I think Mourinho actually wants to use him after, you know, see, you know, seeing how, how vital he was for Atletico Madrid. You know, even winning them, of course, you know, winning with 
give them the uh, the La Liga Championship. Absolutely fantastic record for him. And to come back to Chelsea now, they've got Czech, uh, Schwarzer and Courtois, three very experienced goalkeepers, and uh, they look to be going absolutely ham. I think they will be, you know, quite easily top three contenders. Chelsea, you know, with the assignings they have made so far and uh, pulling back even Lukaku and Courtois, I think they're going to be absolutely awesome. But um, let's go straight to his stats. Going to give him 85 rated goalkeeper, and I'm going to give him plus two diving, plus zero handling, plus one kicking, plus two reflex, plus two speed, plus three positioning, keeping his weak foot, and of course, skill moves the same at three star and one. And the final player for this episode, guys, we are going to talk about Valbuena. Now, there's actually not too much to say about him. He played 34 games for Marseille this season, scored three goals and got six assists for a central attacking. It's obviously not the best um, sort of stats, but I didn't think he deserved the downgrade. You know, he did play pretty well in the World Cup, of course, you know, f covering for Ribéry, even playing at that left wing role, so, which is sort of unknown for him. He does uh, predominantly play most of his games at central attacking, but he has, a, you know, played left wing um, in replacement for Ribery and he's actually done a really fantastic job in my opinion but um, give, going straight into his stats going to keep, keep him at an 80 rated overall I was tempted to move him down to an 81 rated um, but I thought I would just keep him the same and only decrease his pace and shooting passing by one and keeping everything else the same and keeping his three star weak foot and four star skill moves Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Predictions. You guys are going to absolutely ham on every single view can and of course like button. So if we get it 300 again, that will be absolutely sweet. And uh, I actually want to do something a little bit special for the next episode. I want to do a transfer only, you know, completely done transfers like Anders Herrera to Manchester United. So I want you to comment down below five players that have recently been transferred to a new club and I want to cover them in the next episode. So leave comments down below of five recently transferred players and I will see if I can cover them for you guys next episode but apart from that thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it leave a like rating subscribe to my channel if you're new around here follow me on twitter at 94 and apart from that guys i'll see you guys soon